hello everyone this is 401 styling you're welcome to the channel today on the channel we'll be drafting a basic skirt pattern so the method we'll be using is quite simple straightforward and easy because we'll be drafting both the front and the back pattern on the same page okay the measurements required are the waist circumference the hip line that is your waist to the hip the hip circumference and the skirt length okay so for this method is quite straightforward and before we start i would like to draw a margin which i see as my starting point and a guideline for me if you have been following my tutorial you see that this is what i used to do so i will be taking one inch at the top for the top margin because i would be extending some parts of the pattern so by the time we start you would see what i'm talking about depending on the kind of pattern you are making that depends on the margin you will have so i'll just make use of this my ruler to take my one inch margin because if you have this kind of ruler you can just confirm it is one inches this particular ruler so after that i'll find the midpoint of the pattern paper if it is your fabric you can find the midpoint also so whatever i have here i'll divide it to two because we'll be drawing a box okay since we are drafting the two at once to make it easier i'll draft a box first so after which i've gotten my measurement i make the line visible with my pen okay so this is the center and that is where all our measurements will be going towards so at the end it will be our center Oh, sorry our side front and side back so the next thing now is to take the skirt length it is part of what we form our box okay so you just mark the length across like so then you connect with the straight ruler at the base or the hem line it's always also the same thing okay just watch what i'm doing If you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly do so now click on the subscribe button click on the bell beside it to get notified whenever i drop a new video trust me you will enjoy this channel and give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful so what i'm doing now is just connecting the lines like so so after that now we impute our hip circumference divided by four okay so i'll be making use of my hip measurement or oh, let me see i'll be making use of 35 inches for this divided by four that is 8.5 so i'll take 8.5 on the first side and 8.5 on the other side too then i'll mark it towards the length and to the waist just marking it round remember it is part of what we used to get our box so to get accuracy so i'll just make use of my long ruler here okay to save the time i would advise you get a long ruler too it's really important there are some measurements you will need to take and your small ruler will be frustrating okay in case you are making a mermaid skate or you know some exaggerated measurement so you label the center back the center front okay and on the center back like so you take one inch for your zipper allowance okay it can be 1.5 can be two inch but i'll be using one inch and i'll come in with my almighty <laughs> almighty ruler and take my one inch directly I've confirmed it, don't worry. It is one inch wide. I don't know the kind of one you're using, but this one in particular is one inch wide. So you take your zipper allowance like so. Okay. So after that, you come to your waistline. Remember all the measurement is coming towards this center line. Okay. I said it's going to be our side front and side back. 
okay don't worry you understand by the time we finish drafting so from the waistline you take your hip line measurements okay remember it's always between seven to nine inches but from this tutorial i'll be making use of eight inches okay i'll be using eight inches this is not actually my exact measurement okay but i'll be using eight inches so what i just did was mark eight inches round and connect the straight ruler do you see why this method is easy you do everything at once so just label that line as your hip line okay so after we have done that now the next thing for us is to take our waist measurement divided by four okay because one inch for the dart intake because we are going to take that on the waistline okay you don't have a you don't have same allowance for now remember it's just like a template and a basic sloper does not necessarily need to have a same allowance so mind the way you place your curve rope should be facing towards that center line okay it's not a must you have this kind of ruler actually but just mind the way you place the curve whichever curve you have so at the back you do the same thing from the center back the line before the zipper allowance don't make that mistake because the zipper allowance you are going to fold it inside i'll be inward rather <laughs> so then you mark it like so with your one inch for the dots then you connect with a straight um sorry with a curve ruler okay so after which i've gotten your hip measurements and your curves like so come to the center front line and come in by your um take your darts by using your bust pan that is your nipple to nipple then you connect down to the hip line with the straight ruler you see this line is not is not necessary to get to the hip line but it's just a guide this is a pattern okay so then you come down by 4.5 inches so you come to the line to that line on the waistline you take 0 0.5 on both sides and you connect back to that 4.5 inches okay so you see that those lines are not necessarily needed but it's just to serve as our guide we just need the dart line and the dart legs those triangular lines beside the center line is called the dart leg so at the back now you do the same thing take your bust span measurements connect to the hip line but for this dart at the back you come down by five inches okay our front is going from our back remember so after connecting you take 0 0.5 on both side just like we did for the front okay then you connect to that five inches okay just mark it like that so that you get what you are doing okay so kindly give this video a thumbs up share for people that might need it it's important so after that now the next thing that is to go to the side front on the waistline come up by 0 0.5 inches 0 0.5 inches then you connect to the first that leg will extend the line with your ruler and connect to the first that leg with a curve remember our body is not a straight line we have curves on the front so you do like that on the center front line you come down by 0 0.5 inches then you connect to but you have to close the front darts first before doing anything so you just close the dart and connect with the curve to that initial curve okay so 
it make it easier and you get accuracy because we are assuming that we are sewing the dart because by the time you are sewing this you have to close the dart first by the time you close the dart you see that you have your straight or your correct curve so you do the same thing on the back to come up by 0 0.5 then you connect to the that leg okay so the reason why you need to close your that in the front you know that you'll be cutting on fold so by the time you um by the time you take in the dart you just have an accurate measurement around that your front area so now let's go to the back and take our slit measurement so you can just measure your client or ask her where she wants the slit to stop but in case she doesn't mind you can just come down by 17 or 18 inches from your waistline but for this i'll be making use of 18 inches then you connect to that zipper allowance line so from that zipper allowance line you extend it by one inch okay extend it out by one inches then you connect down to the hemline and back to the center back if you don't understand just watch what i'm doing okay do you see that just extend it down like so so i just recommend you take your client's measurement so just label that part as slit it's important you label every part of your pattern so this is the front and this is the back so on the front you can just write it on it cut and fold in case you are giving to someone to cut or maybe you even want to cut yourself so that simple there is means cut on full so at the back you can just write cut two okay so you have two pieces for the back then one for the front so a quick recap on what i did so the first thing we did was draft a box with our body measurements the skirt length the hip um, circumference divided by four we form a straight line to get the midpoint then we impute every other measurement just to get the box so after getting the box i took the waist measurements the zipper allowance let me just label it at once the zipper allowance okay so after that I took the waist measurement, the dart, the hip line, the hip curve, and that is what I did. Then I um, extended the center, I'm sorry, the side front, and I took the slit measurement, okay? And that is basically what I did. That's just a small recap. Okay, so after that now, we, are, we now have our basic skirt okay but we want to have a kind of pencil shape at the hemline we took the measurements you have on your hip line minus two inches that is what you will impute let me take it again whatever you have your on your hip line minus two inches that is what you will impute on the M line or on the full length of the skirt and you connect to the hip area with your straight ruler and that is that about the skirt now you have your pencil skirt so is it that you leave it like so or you just use the pencil okay depending on what you want to make then we'll cut it out just watch the way I'm cutting closely so I'll be cutting the pencil skirt okay let's assume you want to make a, a busy skirt there's no need of subtracting two inches from the hem line okay you just leave it like so 
so once again if you are a new um if you're just seeing my video for the first time kindly subscribe to this channel it's absolutely free and give my video a thumbs up that is like my video share so that people other people will benefit from it and i'll be in the comment section in case you have anything you want to tell me observations anything so this is basically our pattern is ready and as you can see it's really really easier and faster so this is the front and this back kindly gives this video in terms of if you find it helpful so um i'll see you guys in my next video okay so this will be all for this tutorial see you in my next video Bye-bye.